Repair and strengthening of large structures. Structures such as industrial chimneys, towers, and large bridge piers corrode with age and require repair. In some cases, it may be desired to strengthen these structures beyond their original capacity so that they can resist larger loads imposed by traffic, wind, blast, earthquake, etc. The large size of these structures introduces challenging construction issues. For example, the bridge piers shown here often corrode in the splash zone with the tidal or wave action. Typical repair requires adding new reinforcing steel and concrete to that region to make up for the lost capacity. QuakeRap offers a patented technique developed by Professor Mo Asani to quickly strengthen such structures. The technique requires the use of spacer sheets that are wrapped with conventional fiber reinforced polymer, FRP, wet layup. A spacer sheet is a semi rigid sheet that is lightweight and non corroding. Spacer sheets can be made in various flat or curved shapes. These sheets are made with a unique 3D fabric that, once saturated with resin, rises during the curing process to form a three dimensional sheet that is rigid but very light. The pier may have to be cleaned by sandblasting or high pressure water to remove any loose concrete or rust, marine growth, etc. The workers can assemble a working platform or barges around the pier to house the tools and materials that are needed. A number of pre manufactured spacer sheets, shown in yellow color, are positioned around the pier. The lightweight spacer sheets can be temporarily supported in position by hanging them with wires from the underside of the bridge. The spacer sheets may also be tacked, nailed, or screwed. To the pier. The next step requires saturating bands of FRP fabrics and wrapping them in a continuous manner around the spacer sheets, shown in gray color. The FRP wet layup fabric will connect all spacer sheets together and make a single element out of all these individual pieces. At this time, the assembly is lowered in elevation into water and the assembly is secured in its current elevation. Next, additional spacer sheets are added. These spacer sheets can be connected together and to the previously installed spacer sheets using adhesive or screws. Additional wet layup FRP fabric bands are wrapped around these recently placed spacer sheets. The above process is repeated as many times as required until a sufficiently tall shell is manufactured. In some cases, this shell may be long enough to reach the mud line at the bottom of the sea or river. In other cases, the shell height may only cover the splash zone. The bottom of the shell will be sealed to create an enclosed annular space around the pier. The annular space between the pier and the shell must be filled with a filler material to bond the shell and pier together so they act as a single unit in resisting future loads applied to the pier. The filler material can be cementitious grout, underwater grout, or resin. It may also include reinforcing steel positioned along the height of the pier. As an example, one of our resins, Quake Bond 320 LV, has a low viscosity and can penetrate through and fill the small cracks in the damaged concrete pier. Another benefit of this resin is that it cures underwater, eliminating the costly construction of temporary cofferdams around the pier. The density of this resin is slightly more than water. So, as the resin is introduced in the annular space, it pushes the water in the annular space up to the top where the water spills over the edges of the shell. This process can be continued until virtually all the water in the annular space is replaced with the resin. Please watch other videos of our production on our YouTube channel.